Got the bush hog hooked up. The bird man is on his way. He's gonna bush hog some corn stalks in between dumping beans for me today. Just uh, checking the oil here and the fluids and getting everything ready. Dumping the tank that I cut yesterday, the last tank I cut yesterday before it got damp and was cutting cruddy. It is uh, 10 minutes to 12 right now. We've got a pretty good breeze going. I think I'm gonna be able to get out there and start cutting as soon as uh, this load is empty. Looking at my shoes here little bit of dampness there but that's way down deep in the grass I think the soybeans well these are not uh, completely dry down still a few green leaves but I think the soybeans will go or maybe not hmm hmm even the dry ones here they're they're not hopping open like they should well another half an hour with this Sun in the breeze we're gonna try them anyway I don't know if you can see those piles down towards the end of the field but those were the last two passes I did last night and it just wanted to shove up and make a darn mess so that's why I quit uh, it should be dry enough now and we can make a go of it. I got a little more succotash here to cut. So that's the advantage, one of the advantages I've heard of those uh, MacDon headers, those Draper headers. You can cut a little bit longer uh, when those soybeans start getting a little tough. But apparently they continue going through, but I don't have one of those, so I've got to settle for my one arm bandit here. Yep, the one arm bandit. Can you see that right there? That's a chain hanging down. It's not supposed to be like that. Let me go check it out. see why that chain is hanging down because the bearing has gone bad uh, behind here so that's what caused that chain to come off that's not good oh boy ay 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 that's that's gonna be a fun one to change I believe all right well let's um let's just get into it i'm gonna take it to the end of the field and start taking things apart let me get into my service truck uh i got most of what i need is back there i'll stop at the shop and pick up a few more tools i'll check the shelf to see if i have uh, that bearing as well. Hopefully I've got it on the shelf. We'll see. All right, let's see if I have that bearing. Phew, gosh, bless me. Um, auger and shaft cross 25-3, 20, JD 9209. Hmm. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. That may not have been the one. Let's see. All right, I guess that was the one, 9209. Let me go on the shelf and look. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
Mm, I don't think a hobbit. Oh, hold it, hold it. What is this? Uh, 39103. Nope. Bearing for header. That's not the number. But it says bearing for header. Let me look. That looks like a disc bearing. No, okay. I don't think that's for this. Let me keep looking. All right, it doesn't appear I have the bearing, but this catalog is for 200 series platform. I have a 900 series. That bearing may have changed, so I'm gonna I want to take the bearing off and see what kind of bearing I'm dealing with. I may have to go online to get the number. I'll take these just for the hell of it. And I'm gonna need a puller. Let me take a small one as well. Um, okay. I think I have everything else in the truck that I need. All right, the sprocket is off. Oh boy. So this is a hex bearing. This is gonna be fun. I guess the next thing is the flange. So I can't uh, get these bolts out of here on this flange because I can't get back behind there. So I'm gonna take this plate off. This, this is a plate that holds that bearing flange on there that has adjustments here for this auger to raise the auger up and down, move it back and forth. So four bolts here, two on the top and two on the bottom. That one's out of there uh, and then I can take this plate off then I think that's going to give me enough room uh, to get behind there and knock this uh, collar off all right so uh, this bar here is in the way from pulling this plate out but I think I have enough room that I can lift that auger up on the inside there lift it up uh, six inches and then I can clear the plate Just like that. Okay, now I can take this flange off. And I'm thinking I may have one of these bearings now. So uh, I'm taking the flange off then back to the shop and check again for this type of bearing. I was looking for just a, a round hole bearing. So I don't, didn't need the gear pullers for that, that's good. Just like that. I think I'm going to need two hands to get it back together. 
Okay, let's go find a bearing. Well, I didn't have a bearing on the shelf. I looked. I had a hex bearing, but uh, it was too large. The hex was the same size, but the bearing width was uh, too wide. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, it's a pretty day. Uh, I cannot get a bearing until tomorrow morning. It's 2 o'clock now. Um, so it's going to be tomorrow morning before I get a bearing. And it's supposed to rain tomorrow, unfortunately. So darn it. I am shut down um, until further notice. And uh, concerning the snout on the header, uh, made a number of phone calls this morning. Deer no longer uh, makes the snout. There's not a dealer across the country that that is available. Uh, if it was, it was $2,000 if there was one available. Uh, I called um, two junkyards. Neither one of them dealt with uh, combine parts. This was These were names that I had gotten from some of the dealers that I had called. Uh, so one of the junkyard people did call me back. He, he gave me a name of a place in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to get on the phone and talk to them and see if maybe they have one of these uh, snouts used. Uh, I've talked to the welder. He's going to come down this evening. Um, and get that piece. I've got some ideas in mind. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing, but just something to get me going again. Uh, apparently there are kits that I can convert to a newer style, so I'm gonna look at those uh, this evening when I get back to my computer. It's hard to look up stuff on the phone. I was just trying to find this bearing on Deer's website, and it's, their website is a little difficult to use on a phone, especially zooming in and out. Hopefully, I've got the right bearing uh, on order. I don't know, but so I'll I'll look at these kits as well and maybe just do a conversion um, to the newer style snouts for this header. Uh, so, but I'm I am going to call this other place in PA first and uh, see if they may have some of those used snouts uh, available. If it's going to rain the next couple days, I've got a chance to uh, slip up there and pick one up if that's the case. Okay, I guess um, I've got probably got just enough soybeans in the combine to screw things up. So I guess I better get those out of the combine so they don't get wet. And uh, I'll probably jump on the tractor and, and bush hog some corn stalks. The bird man is um, going deer hunting this afternoon, so he wants to leave here at 3.30. Uh, it's first day of muzzleloader season, I believe, so he wants to get out there and see what he can see and shoot what he can shoot okay that's the update for now rolling right along he's got the first field done down here on the river that one's finished got into this one now and then next will be over there i think i'm just gonna go ahead and get dirty and blow the combine off before it rains I didn't get a chance to blow it off last night because the blower was in the wrong truck. But I've got it now, so let's do it. Yeah, I enjoyed that too much. Okay, I've got the dust off of it now. It looks much nicer. Well, it would look excellent if that bearing was completed, but it's not. Do you hear that? 
that noise is just getting worse that gasket which i assume is an exhaust manifold gasket is getting worse so it's uh it's got to go to the mechanic so i guess i am uh going to switch trucks unfortunately right now uh my daughter's truck is uh at the dealership she has that e-torque thing on her truck and she thinks that is what is causing some problems for her mainly the remote start is not working but um she's she's had um our friend jeffrey uh check it out and he he's come to the conclusion that it's that e-torque system i don't understand the whole thing it's still under warranty she took it back to the ram dealership last week uh, they kept it two or three days replaced the control module on it and said yep it's all fixed and angela thought well that's a bit strange because all of the other people she's talked to with the same type of truck it's taking like three to five weeks to fix the truck because they have to replace that entire system well sure enough after a couple days she realized the uh they had not fixed the problem so took it back to them this week so I don't know if if they have to replace that whole system it sounds like it's three to five weeks so she's in my gray blue black truck whichever one you want to call it um, so she's using that truck I started using the white truck uh, we have that exhaust manifold uh, leak is getting worse so I guess I'm gonna switch to my red truck now I hate to bring that on the farm and use it every day but this leak is just getting too bad. It's, so I just talked to Jeffrey and he said, yeah, bring it to him. He can get it done in a couple of days. So um, I think I've got everything out of it. So I'm gonna get it up to his house and let him uh, fix it if he can. I'm gonna hang you out the window. You can hear how bad it is. Getting worse. Time to get it fixed. <laughs> 